So this is Ozzy Griffin in an, uh, another one of my solutions videos. It's also a response to uh, Richard O'Brien, the stand-up philosopher. He was talking about um, education and the massive, unwieldy debts that are loaded onto uh, students uh, coming out of some of the more expensive courses. Now, I was inspired actually by a prof uh, her tag was like her name on YouTube is Professor or something or other. I've forgotten what. Anyway. Um, her video was about free tertiary education and I'm like, no, that would be a boondoggle of colossal proportions. Oh sure, you're probably thinking, hey, why shouldn't we educate everybody? I've got no problems with education, okay? Uh, believe me. I mean, I don't like the system we've got. I think that higher education though is a fine idea. The practice is what bothers me. So, look, I'm not going to lie to you. First and foremost, as far as making money and using a lever to keep people in debt and um, generating cash for you for almost the rest of their lives, those college loans and a few other things, like if you've got a home mortgage, oh my God, how they are good. However, in our modern economy that really needs a kickstart as far as good people in good jobs making good money, uh, which should really help the economy. We don't need any more of that. No. What we need is productive people spending money in a productive economy. So here's one way to do it. The company that would provide you the loan to get through college, university, or whatever form of tertiary education you're taking will agree that for the first couple of years, 10, 15 at the most or so, they will only have so many, uh, they will only be able to take a percentage of your paycheck, just straight up a percentage before tax. Now, that means that the courses that they will endorse will be the ones that lead on to higher paid jobs. This will mean more, more people will become more students in more universities, nation in whatever country adopts this. And not only will they do that, they will, this means also that the higher paid the student, the easier it is for the company to make back its money. Ah, financial incentive all around. And once it's all paid off after a certain number of years, which you can haggle out um, with somebody's help, you can walk out of there. That's your debt paid. That's the rest of your life there. And you got the skills for life. The debt is only for a couple of years. So comparatively speaking, it's not going to make the companies anywhere near as much money as the debt-based uh, college, college funds that we've got right now. I'm not going to lie to you, that's a big problem. However, as far as find, striking a good balance between the profit motives of a corporation, which is not a bad thing by itself, and the uh, needs of the student to go on to be more, uh, to have more dependability and stability in their future and contribute more to the economy, I think it strikes a very equitable balance between these two things. That's just my opinion on it. However, I haven't really uh, struck across any significantly better ideas. Anyway, if you have a better idea, I do want to hear back from it. What I'd love someday is to start a real debate on something and just have people throwing ideas and catches, refining each other's ideas yet coming up with production, not just criticism and blame and negativity. You know, put something out there, say, could you try doing this? Would there be a problem doing that? Can you work in something here? I'd love to work with someone like on something like that. It'd be nerve wracking. However, it'd be beneficial. So yeah, anyway, this has been a response. Richard, mate, hope your back's still going good. And yeah, man, keep on trucking.